our Rattlers team has been uh, arguably the top team in this league even before I got here. Um, we're going to be entering our 15th season and uh, basically every year we've been a powerhouse. My name's Sean Worth. I'm the general manager of the Bradford Rattlers and this will be my sixth season. I think that we have a completely different philosophy to, uh, to our program than any other team in this league really try and do. Um, a lot of teams in this league will go out and try and just sign superstar players that are proven in other leagues and, uh, and try and put together the best team they can to win. Our Rattlers team has a completely different mindset when it comes to athlete identification. What we've been able to do over the years is build a development program in-house with what I believe to be the strongest hockey program in this league, where we find good, young, dedicated athletes uh, and train them and develop them in-house. So what we do is repeatable year in, year out. Um, it's why over the last 15 years our win-loss is 595 wins and uh, like 90 losses um, and why we consistently win championships. You know, we might not be the best teams day one because we go young and we go uh, with players that we see a lot a higher ceiling in, um, but normally by February or March, uh, we're the best team in the league bar none and comes just comes down to performing in playoffs. So that's what uh, I think has made us unique over the years. Oh, hi, my name is Anthony Catalonia. I'm uh, currently 17 years old. I'm a center and I played for Selwyn Ellis last year. I came down for a visit in the month of August and ever since I came here I just fell in love with it. And I bring a, a big presence to the ice, like a physicality, I have a good shot and a lot of speed. I think with that like uh, I can bring a lot to this team. Uh, I just want to get better, like every year it's the same thing, just come into training camp and like, just try to prove myself and get better. And for the team I'd like to hopefully win the championship, also to try to maybe uh, improve my skill and get to the next level. I'm an offensive defenseman, so uh, I like to bring uh, offense for sure. Uh, I'm also good in uh, in the D zone, but for sure I like to uh, to play on the on the power play and uh, create uh, offense. Uh, my expe expectations are high because uh, you know I played four years uh, junior and uh, I never uh, really won uh, anything. And uh, like I'm here to, to win for sure. Uh, I want to go as far as possible and maybe like win the championship. That's that would be the, the goal for sure. I heard a lot of good things uh, with the organization, um, so I just I think it's uh, the best uh, best place for me right now uh, to uh, develop um, like myself and uh, to like uh, maybe uh, step into pro next season. We take our athlete identification, I think, the most serious in this league. Um, well, we a lot of teams say it, but we do look for uh, primarily athletes to join us that have ambitions of going on to higher levels of pro or college. Um, I'll physically go to Europe every summer and we'll host trial camps in Moscow, Russia and in Bruno, Slovakia. Um, and then I also get to meet their families, um, sit down and, and go through our program with them. So when we do find a player that we like uh, and they come recommended to our team, um, we have a good shot of, a, of landing them and, and you know saying our points as to why uh, our program might be a good step for them. My name is Sergei Sevastyanov and I played the last year Bank of Rockhounds. Goal is be ready. I'm more like a player who can stick out in the angle and look for pass, make assists. Uh, why did you choose to play for Bradford? It's a good club, it's a, one of the best clubs in this league and it's a, shown just professional. Hopefully, start uh, season will start soon, and I expect from this season only win cup, and our team ready for it. I came here because I have a good program. I want to get better and uh, have a good time with the boys and enjoy the season. To consistently win and consistently be a top team uh, in the league, uh, you have to. You have to have a process that's repeatable. So every year we, we have a recruiting class come in, we select 28 athletes that we think have the potential to, to excel in the program. We try and provide them with the best possible facilities, the best possible coaching that we can. And that's, that's really the, the key to consistency for us is, is identifying the right athletes, bringing them in, training them well, training them hard. And uh, at the end of the year, um, 
you know, normally we're, we're one of the top teams because of that. My name is Alexi Bernatsky. Uh, I used to play for Bradford Rattlers last two seasons. And I'm a defenseman. Well, I came two years ago here to be a better hockey player, to see good players, the good coaches with this organization. Hopefully we'll see some fans in the stands this season and we'll have some fun. My name is Ali Baxter, I'm from Guelph. Uh, I just played for my high school team last year because I was coming back from injury and um, I'm defense. I'm definitely a defensive defenseman. I like uh, not getting scored on and just keeping it out of our end and just play a simple game. Uh, I actually got traded um, last week to the Rattlers from uh, Muskoka, but uh, I'm happy to be here. Probably my personal goal is to be one of the top defensive shutdown G-men in the league and um, hopefully improve my game. We had to come up with a strategy through COVID about how to best handle not only roster management, but how we're going to take care of our athletes' development throughout the course of this season, even if they're unable to come to Canada. So we have 16 of our athletes here now um, that are in Bradford and training five days a week in the gym and on the ice. You know, these kids have been training now for three months and, you know, for an athlete to stay dedicated training five days a week for three months, uh, without any games, no competition, to, to try their skills. Um, I'm really I'm really proud of these kids that are putting in that work. So my name is Felix Chernovsky. I'm a defenseman. I played for Junior Canadians. So I'm the body checking guy. I'm playing pretty tough games. And I think I will bring a lot of uh, fun in the team. Uh, I didn't know which team I will go. And I didn't choose if I will, like, I will, I will, I will play hockey. But uh, Sean texted me in the Instagram and uh, he asked if I would like to play. I've been here two years ago on the camp and I think it's going to be a good experience. Uh, Julian McCarthy, I play D. Um, I'm from Innisfil, Ontario and I played for the Tottenham team last year. I try to model my game after two-way defense and more defensive, I'd say. I signed here because I was here last year and uh, I like what I've seen. And, I have a good relationship with Sean and I just like it here and I like the program and just improving everyone and getting them next, to the next level. I have high expectations first because we've had pretty good success in the last couple of years and uh, we're just trying to keep it going and we have a strong team here. Over in Europe it's really put a test to you know, our organization's infrastructure to be able to service the athletes that are un unable to come. So uh, we have loaned out some players to European teams until our border opens. Um, we have Christoph von Berg playing in Sweden, along with Eric Holmström. Um, in, in Czech Republic, we have Vojtek Pfeiffer and Matej Spitok, two referring players that are, we've loaned out to minor pro teams in Czech. Um, so they're training every day. And then in Russia, Igor Grishatov, who's the head of our Russian operations, he's been doing a skate five days a week, just like we have here in Bradford with our eight Russian guys, so at least they can stay on the ice and stay in shape and uh, be ready to come when, when the borders do open. So it's definitely been a trying year, but um, you know, those are some of the kids that we're pretty excited to, to have. And, and I really, you know, I, I'm proud of all the kids that have stayed motivated through all this, because it would have been real easy for them just to throw their feet up and, and, and not come or, or you know, wait for this to be over. But you know, they're here every day, they're training, and uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm pr happy to see that. It means we, we selected the right kids, I think. The situation with COVID is not really good. A lot of Europeans guys can't uh, fly here and play. We're gonna have to, to work really hard because uh, like may, uh, right now some players are not uh, here yet. So when everybody's gonna be here, we're gonna have to uh, have like good chemistry at the, right at the start of the season uh, to make sure that we're, we can be the, the best team possible. So uh, we're gonna have to, to be like a, a big family and like all uh, go well together. What's it going to take to be successful this season? First of all, hard work. It all starts off with hard work. Like if you're not there to give it your 110% every day, then you're just not going to improve yourself. Work hard. Just working. Just working hard. Yeah, just working hard. That's how it's working in Russia. It's work hard. Work here. Work hard every day. Work hard. Play smart.